Hello guys, how are you? Today we will create another real example of a smart contract. We will create a savings account that will only save money for us so we can accumulate money there. And if someone access our real wallet balance, they will not see all our money because they will not be able to see our savings balance. It's a very simple contract, but we will see a lot of things we have learned so far. So we will create a new, new brew file here in Solidity Browser Remix. We will add the classic Pragma Solidity Carrot 0.4.0 and we will start creating our contract called savings. savings. This contract will have an address to create our classic modifier that will only let the owner modify this stuff. So we will create our modifier, I will copy it because we have done it multiple times. Our modifier, it would, it would check the owner if it equals to the message sender. And of course we need our constructor or initializer, initializer that creates the, the address of the owner. So that's it, very simple. We will also create two user events. These events will be like a console log. We will create an update status that will update the status. This is an event that you can have to write it like this. It will have a string called message and a user status that will have a string message, also an address with the, that will be the user and a UIN that will be the amount of money that the user will take from our account. So we will create a function that will be able the person of the contract to deposit some funds. So function deposit funds and this function must be payable so anyone can deposit money for us and it will it will launch a user status it will trigger a user status that it will say user has deposited some money we don't care who the, who the user is, we care that the money comes in. User status, something is wrong, give me a second. Let me fix it, and it's done, whoops. Okay, so we have our user status and we have our deposit funds. Now we'll create a function just to get the funds to see how, many, how much money we have on this savings account, and it will be only executable by the owner so it will be a only owner function only owner okay so this will return this dot balance that it will be the balance that the contract has in this moment of course we need to add the constant returns ui int constant returns ui int and there it is. And the last function will be the most important one, that is the function to withdraw funds. It will be the with withdraw funds. These functions will have a parameter of the amount of money you want to take from this contract. And it will be only owner function because we don't want other people removing our our value. This will have a very simple command. It will check if the is it possible to transfer money to the owner, like this. And give me a second to solve this. There it is. Okay, so it will update the status and say user withdraw some money. We don't care how much money because that will be done for the contract. And last but not least, we will add something we did on in a past video. We will have a kill function. This kill function will be able to kill the contract and it will be only owner because we don't want anyone to kill our function and it will commit suicide if you remember the suicide function takes an address as a parameter and it will disable the contract and also will be return all the value of the contract to the owner we will not, we will not test it here we will test it on our ethereum wallet it will be better so i will go to contracts i will copy all this code Contracts, deploy new contact, contract, employer, the employer is the one that has money here with me, and I will copy all the code here. And there it is. We will make it very fast. And I will deploy the contract. So pick a contract, savings, deploy. So it will ask for our password. There it is. And now we need to wait 
a little bit because it needs to be in mind. We will make this a little smaller. And there it is. Okay. So currently we have zero or of 12 confirmations. Only with one confirmation we can start using our contract. That's enough for us to test it. So it's not that slow for it to work. Here is the older savings and this is the new one, the yellow one. So I will go to the saving contracts and I will deposit some funds. The employer is the one that has some money and it will send one letter. Execute. It will ask for my password as well. There it is. Now, of course, we need to see, wait for the confirmation. You can see here that the other one has already three of 12 confirmations. If we go to contract, we will have that it still have zero ether because we need to wait this confirmation right here. It has been 24 seconds since the last block, so it should be very soon. It should be done by now. Sometimes it's a little slower, and there it is, we have our confirmation. So you can see this saving have one ether. The, now we will withdraw some funds. We will withdraw the half half of the funds if there is a problem because we need to put it like this this is an ethereum bag it's not that difficult but we need to have a lot of zeros i will remove 0 0.5 ether and for the let's try it with employee 2 this is not the one that created the contract as you can see it will fail but if we try with the guy that created the contract the employer and we execute it will work You need to put your password again and you will be able to take the half of the funds we have just tried you need to wait for the confirmation and once the confirmation is done you will see that here it will no longer appear one ether it will be right now perfect 0 0.5 ether we can also kill this contract to see how this works we select the employer we will execute it will ask for our for our password again. We don't want anyone more to be, to be killing this contract. And remember that killing this contract will return all the all the money from the contract to us. We have 33.63, and we need to wait one of these confirmations. And once we have our confirmation, this contract will have zero ether, and we can also watch the contract events. If you remember, we put some events code for when the user the withdraw funds and when the user deposits funds. These <coughs> events will appear right here. Let's give it a second until the next blocks arrives. And now our saving contracts doesn't have ether and our fun and our user will have the more ether than before. So it worked. And let's go for the events. This takes a little bit because it need to to see the confirmations as well. But let's give it a second, and we'll see all the both events that happen: the event when we deposit the funds and the event when we withdraw the funds. There we are. Update status, user withdraws some money, user status, user has deposited some money, we see the user that deposited the money and the amount. So here we are, next episode we will continue watching and making new smart contracts, see you there, bye!